everyone, welcome back to Wild and Free Art. Today I'm going to show you how to make this cat's cradle binding, which was originally from Sasebo. Follow to find out more. Hi, so I already have a book cover and my book pages um, organized and sorted. Um, this isn't a tutorial on how to make the book, it is just uh, about the binding. So the first thing you want to do is to make a template for your binding. This type of binding works um, on two uh, signatures or any other number of even signatures. So two, four, six, I don't know how many more you'd want to go after that. Um, so you have to work on it in pairs. So here I am making uh, my template and I'm just measuring the size of the width of my spine and the length of my spine. And then I am going to split the template, um, mark the template with six dots for my six holes that I'll be doing. Now that I've checked, um, trimmed my template, cut it to size, and checked that it's going to fit, I am going to mark out my two rows. In order to do this, I, um, I usually uh, fold my piece of scrap paper that I'm using as my template. First, I fold it lengthwise, and then again to the middle to get equal distance between my two rows of holes that I'm going to um, put for my signatures. After I've made my selection lengthwise, just so I can see things a bit better, I'm going to mark it with a pencil and that should help you see it as well. Okay, now you can see I have my two rows ready to go. Now it's time to fold it so that I can make it into seven, I was wrong before, into seven different sections. So I'm folding it in half, then I'm folding it into another two. And now I'm going to mark the rows and I'm going to put my holes where the lines intersect. I'm now going to mark my template with an X everywhere where the two lines intersect. So now I have three on the top and three on the bottom. So this is my little graphic and the order that I'm going to be stitching. I know it looks complicated, but it's not as complicated as it might seem at first glance. Now you need to get your awl and a soft surface to poke through so you can poke the holes in your template and then into your cover and your signatures. So once you have um, punched the holes in your spine, it's time to measure out your um, thread. I've just used embroidery floss here. 
um, because I like the color contrast that it shows. Because this is an exposed stitching, you want to get something that you can see and that is strong enough. However, a uh, book binding thread or any other type of um, rope cord that you want um, should work here. So what we're going to be doing is we're going to be making a crisscross pattern starting from the back of the journal and working forward. So we're going to actually start from hole number three on the top part of the signature. If it's easier for you, remember to mark it with a T as well as marking your template with a T um, just to be sure that you are putting everything in the right way. So thread through the entire thing, leaving a bit of a tail, and then thread the signature through the spine as well. Now you're going to go onto the opposite side. So that's the back. You're going to go on the next one and you're going to go to the last signature on the opposite. So imagine it's equal counting on both sides. So three from the top on the first signature and then three from the middle on the next signature. You're then going to sew it through your papers the inside. At this point it's pretty easy because when you're inside your signatures you're always going to be going up or down. There is no crisscrossing and you will never be repeating the hole in the same place twice. So at this point it's easy to remember you go up one and so this is the third hole you're going to be uh, sewing. So you go up one nice and straight. Go through your signature, back through your, your spine. I think I might have measured a bit too much thread here. I'm always afraid of having too much, too little thread and running out, so I always tend to over measure. Okay, so now we've come out the second hole, so we're going to go across and up to the second hole on the other side. So we were on the third and now we go into the second hole and into the signature to come out in the middle as well. Okay, so now that you're back on the inside, you see that we have our first tail still there. So you do not want to go through the hole again. So the only way you can go is up. So up through the top hole, through the spine, pull everything tight, but not over tight. Again, shorter string would probably be better. So pull it all through. And then, now we've come out the top hole, 
So now we have to go again the same mirror reflection on the other side. So you're going to go back through the hole closest to the middle on the other signature, pull it through and go back into the signature like you did before. Okay, so now that you've come through, you have your three lines going in one direction. So now what we're going to do is do the crisscross pattern. So again, you cannot go back through the same hole, so your only option is to go up one. So you go up to the third one from the top, and you come out of your spine. Now at this point, you have to kind of pay a little bit of attention because you have to do a little bit of weaving on the outside of the spine. Um, you could just leave it that way. I suppose it wouldn't change anything, but I think it looks better with um, a little bit of weaving on the outside. So you're going to make sure you go over, under, over, or under, over, under. So just make sure it's the same. So now you're going to go to the next hole on the opposite side, which is the bottom, okay? And you have to weave it through. So I believe I decided to go over, under, over on this one. And then back through the hole, just like you've done before. Poke it through the signature. So you poke it through the signature, you come back on the inside. So once you've pulled all your thread through, you're going to do exactly what you guessed. You're going to go up one, back through the hole on the outside, and so now you're going to have to go to the equal one on the opposite side. And remember to weave through the other strings. So you have to just double check you're not weaving the same one. So again we're going across to the second from the top and weaving through making sure we're not repeating the weave and I was holding it off screen by accident here as when I get focused I kind of forget I'm filming. But I'm weaving it through and then going to the hole on the other side, so the second from the top, and again, repeating the process one more time, poking through the spine and back into the signature. So once you've come back in, you have only one more space to go, which is up. So we're on the very last one now, you go in through the top hole and weave through to the middle top hole on the other side. And again, remember to go the opposite of what you've done. So if that one is over, then you go under. If that one's under, you go over until you come out and poke it back through the hole. So now that you um, have come back through. We're basically right back at the beginning where we started. You are right underneath your very first one where you left the tail. At this point you want to just check the tension on your binding and make sure that it's not too tight. 
and not too loose at the same time. This might be a little bit fiddly, but if you try and go the same order, order you went through the holes, that should be helpful. Um, and if you kept a somewhat decent tension throughout, um, it shouldn't be too difficult to check the tension. Um, you want the pages to still turn easily, but not to come too loose. Um, thank you for bearing with me with this kind of new system of, you know, um, making my videos. Uh, we've just moved and we, um, the new setup is, you know, it's temporary accommodation and my crafting space is now in the living room in a corner and which is where the kids have their TV and we're doing home education right now. So basically I am never alone. So there's always going to be noise and I can't just chat with you. So uh, until then, I, um, I'm just gonna have to kind of work on them this way and just, you know, film while I'm crafting and then come and do a voiceover. I hope uh, it's not too weird for those of you who have been following. So uh, anyways, now I have tied my knot. I just tied a square knot. I'm unclipping all my pages and I'm just going to flip through the journal quickly um, to show you what the inside looks like and the outside. Um, and this is how it should come out. So straight from the inside and with a lovely pattern on the outside. I just think it looks so nice um, out there on the outside and I can only imagine it if you had four signatures um, how pretty it would. I will link uh, Dragon as original tutorial in the comments below. Um, thank you for watching. Please like and comment and give a subscribe. Happy crafting. Bye bye.